This video was sponsored by Squarespace. Alright, here's the puzzle. Let's say you have a finite number of points, greater than two, in a plane that are not all collinear. So they can be arranged however, but they can't all lie on the same line. Now the question is, is it always possible to draw a line that contains exactly two points? In this configuration, there definitely is, as this line contains only two points, and so does this. There are multiple, actually. With this configuration, not as obvious. But either way, we have to either somehow prove it's always possible, no matter how the points are arranged, or we have to find a counterexample. By the way, something interesting is that this problem is easy to understand, and as we're about to see, the explanation doesn't involve any high-level math. Yet, after it was first posed, this problem went unsolved for about 50 years. Until I showed up. Just kidding. But it did take him a while to figure this out. Anyways, let's get to it. I'll just stick to this configuration for the video, but in general realize, for any number of points n, there is a finite number of lines that can be drawn, which contain two or more points. In fact, the maximum would be n choose 2, the number of ways you can choose two points from your set. For example, this is one combination, one way you can select two points, and that corresponds to this line. This is another two points you can select, corresponding to this line. N choose 2 is a max though, because selecting these two is different than selecting these two. Different combinations, yet they correspond to the same line. So N choose 2 is a max. But since there are a finite number of points, there are a finite number of possible lines that cross two or more of those points. So I'll write those possible lines in an arbitrary list labeled L1 through LM. Now currently there's no order to this list. I mean the line currently drawn could be labeled L1 or L9, whatever, really doesn't matter. But there is a way we can order it, and that's by distance. That is, for any line that contains two or more points, we find the perpendicular distance to the closest point not on that line. So, for this line, the closest point would be this one here, and this would be our distance, whatever it may be. I don't have units or a scale or anything, but it doesn't matter. And there could be multiple points the same distance away, right? If there was a point here, then that's the same distance. But realize that because there are a finite number of points, at least one has to be the closest. So if we arrange the lines from shortest distance to the closest point, going down to the longest, then this current one is probably close to the bottom, compared to this line, which is a short distance from that closest point. Then we got this one, which seems to be the last on our list, LM, as the closest point, and that distance looks like it's greater than that of any other line. Now, of all these lines that contain at least two points, we need to see if we can find one that contains exactly two points, or again, find a counterexample. To do this, we're going to use our line currently drawn to construct another that's higher up on our list. Although I'll be using this one specifically, LM, this algorithm, you could call it, is arbitrary. I didn't have to pick LM. Now, this process only works if there are three or more points on the line, which there are. If there are two, well, then we'd be done, because that's what we're looking for. With three or more points, what we can do is draw that perpendicular distance line segment already shown, the one to the closest point, and label that intersection, whatever, P. Since our line contains at least three points, then we know two or more will lie on one side of that point P. In this case, two can be found on the left side. Now, one point could be at the same location of P, right? Like our original set could have had a point here, but still, starting at point P, including that point, there is some direction where you walk that way along the line and you're guaranteed to find two or more points. From here, during that walk, pick not the first, but the second point you hit and draw a line from that point to this one up here, whichever point was closest to your original line. Because here we have constructed a new line which contains at least two points, so it's also on our list. But look at the distance from this point to that new line. It's shorter than this distance. To prove that, just realize that we have two similar triangles, one here and one here. 
They both have a right angle. They share this angle. Thus, their other two angles must match. So, these are similar triangles. This means that this side is proportional to this one. Those are corresponding sides. Hey, look, geometry is coming into play here. But because this triangle is inside of this one, not too hard to see that this side length must be less than this one. So this line is closer to its nearest point than our original line, meaning it's higher up in our list. Yes, it is true that for this new line, the closest point is actually this one. But that doesn't matter because think about what we've just shown. We've shown that given any line on our list, because this was done arbitrarily, if it contains three or more points, then we can construct a new line that is higher up on our list, closer to its nearest point. If you really understand that, then you should also see that we basically answered our question. Because give me any line on our finite list. If it contains three or more points, then I can find another line higher up on our list. If that one contains three or more points, I can again find another line higher up on the list. We could jump up several elements, but we're definitely going up. And as you go up, if you don't find a line that contains exactly two points, then this one must. Because if it didn't, if it had three or more, then from what we've just shown, we could find another line higher up on the list. But there's nothing there. And this would contradict the fact that there are a finite number of these lines. So we've proved that L1 definitely contains two points. Not necessarily the only line that does, but all we had to do was find one. Let's see this work in real time though. We currently have this line, which still has more than two points. Its closest point is this one here. We then find not the first, but the second point on one side of that intersection P, and draw a line from there through the closest point to our line, whatever the distance segment is extending from then the line you just constructed is higher up on the list because we know we at least have this point, the first one we find during that walk from P, which is closer to our new line than any point was to the previous due to those similar triangles. And this new line contains three points as well, so we do everything again. It looks like this is the closest point, so we draw that perpendicular line segment, find the second point on one side, connect that to the same closest point, and look at that, the program terminated. We have a line that contains exactly two points. It might not be L1, although in this case, it looks like it is. But either way, using this procedure, we are guaranteed to find some line along the way that contains exactly two points. And because this was arbitrary, it applies to any set of points that are not all collinear. This is called the Sylvester-Galai theorem. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And while there are other proofs out there, I really like the simplicity of this one. So that's it for this video, but before we go, I wanna give a shout out to Squarespace, this video's sponsor. Squarespace is an online platform that allows you to create a unique website for your business or personal needs. Whether it's a blog, an online store, a website to showcase the projects you worked on, whatever you may need, Squarespace is the perfect place to get started. You'll find useful features from website analytics and data trends, to blogging tools that allow visitors to share content to different social media platforms, to email campaigns so you can constantly engage and inform your audience. To get started with a free trial, go to squarespace.com slash zackstar or click the link below. And when you're ready to launch, you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, all relevant links are below. And with that, I'm gonna end that video there. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon, social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.